Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today, we're at the greatest muscle car show on the planet, the Muscle Car and Corvette National in Rosemont, Illinois. I've met Rick. Rick, what's your last name? Rick Milam. Rick Milam and Troy. Troy. Angeline. And these gentlemen, Troy, first of all, you are a restorer of cars, and Rick, you own this car. So Rick, what did you bring today? It's a 1966 Cornette 440 Emmy car, which is a true survival. So we're talking original paint, the whole thing. Original paint, original interior, original glass. <laughs> the only thing that's been changed are tires, battery, and exhaust. Troy, how did you get connected with Rick for this car? I have done some previous work for Rick, and he contacted me knowing that I was into Mopars and uh, asked if I could get the car running and get some exhaust and tires and polish it up and detail it and get it looking good again. So I think you've happened. done an amazing job. It looks so good that it doesn't look like it's a survivor. So let's go right to our featured attraction. Gentlemen, come right alongside me. And there she is. So subtle, so wonderful, so loving. And then this little badge right here. It looks that way. Life cell. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. Love that front face on that one. Let's take a walk back. So Rick, you've had this car since February. That's right. How in the heck does this happen that you have a car that looks like this and it hasn't been seen? What what happened here? A friend of mine that I graduated high school with uh, knew that I bought old cars and uh, his client had this car and called me on it. It's out of uh, Indianapolis area and uh, after a couple of weekends of negotiating, I ended up with a car. Wow. Um, first of all, you're not necessarily a, a Mopar guy, correct? That's right. This Hemis I thought were out of my uh, league, but this car I had to have. Now tell me about these hubcaps. There's a little story the there, hub too. Hubcaps are an interesting story because when we got ready to uh, load the car up, um, I asked him if he still had the wheel covers on, and he said, yeah, but I have to go in and get them. He went to his in his house and picked them up. He said they were in his bedroom full of change. <laughs> so they've been off the car since he was about two years old. So now this car just sat in a garage and sat. This car is a two-owner car, and uh, the owner that I bought it from uh, bought it with like 11,000 miles on it uh, in 78, and then uh, he just drove to uh, weekend car shows occasionally, and that was the extent of it. So we knew it. Bought new and uh, right just outside of Indianapolis, as the sticker on the back indicates. Let's take a look at the back. This is truly a sleeper. It does not overwhelm you. You sneak up on it. You get closer to it. You fall in love with it, and then the Hemi badge. And this is the original sticker from the dealer. The guy that bought the car lived about 10, 15 minutes away from that dealership. From Amazing. From Indiana all the time. Let's, uh, let's uh, take a look in the trunk, shall we? So we have some treats in the trunk. This is some original tooling. That's for the uh, front license plate bracket if you put it on the car. The front the car. license plate bracket. Here's the original title. Tell me what this is. These are uh, dealership delivery items here. This is when it was delivered to the dealership off the truck. It says, put air cleaner on before starting. That's just one of those things that was taped to the steering wheel uh, that the manufacturer had them do. And then uh, we have the build sheet and window sticker also with the car. And the build sheet and the window sticker. Troy, so when Rick calls you up, I mean, first of all, now you're a guy who's done quite a few Mopars and you have quite a few of the special Mopars at your shop. What do you think when he says something like this? I mean, what's your reaction to this? Well, it was uh, hard to believe, really, so I had to get over and check it out right away. And uh, I was pretty impressed with what I found. 
Yeah. So, I mean, how long does it take you to clean up a car like this? We spent probably, um, we had the car about two months okay. off and on, you know, detailing and getting some parts, for, you know, cleaned up and working again. So, it looks phenomenal. Yeah. All right, we're going to feature this. I mean, look at the shine on this paint. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, we'll shut that trunk. May I open this? Yes. Okay. I was uh, I was leaving the show, and I saw this car, and I said I can't leave just yet. And then that's when Troy told me, "Yeah, Lou, you're looking at original paint." And I almost fell over. Rick, what was your reaction when you saw this car for the first time? I actually didn't believe it. And that's why I started making some phone calls. Because on this car, when, when he told me it was original paint, I opened up the door jams and there was some, some sagging in the paint in the door jams uh, underneath the hood and that kind of stuff. As I started talking with some Mopar people, which Troy can attest to, uh, they said, no, that's pretty typical of that era car. And so when that's why as soon as I got it back, I made the phone call. I said, you got to come over and tell me if I did okay, if I screwed up, or whatever. I said, the car just got such a good story with 13,000 miles that I had to have it. Wow. So he told you you did okay. Yeah. And, and, and have, this is the first car show for this car? Absolutely. Yeah, he's had the car over there just doing the detail work on it and uh, make sure that we got the exact exhaust and the exact tires and those type of things uh, done to it. Done a little more research on the car just to verify everything is correct and this is what we've got. Tell me what that box is down there. That's a FM Reverb. That's is that, is that after fact? Aftermarket but, okay, that's aftermarket. That's uh, that's what the gold box in the trunk was, and that's what really gotcha. got a little different antenna on it. Okay. I do like the fact that it says Coronet 440 on the on the dash. I think that is super cool. Let's take a look at our treat under the hood, shall we? Another very cool thing that you don't ever find on the factory warranty card is still on the radio sport. Let me show that. Show me anything that's cool that I need to know. Go ahead. If it has an address on it, don't show me that. So I'm going to just move over here for a second. Just got the pin number. All right. There's that so people can verify it. I'm just going to show that. Perfect. All right. We'll put that back. So the only look one at this. that's not original is that battery. The uh, battery, the uh, tires, the exhaust. Battery, tires, and exhaust. How did you find the blue lines? Uh, that's all Troy's doing. He those are reproduction. Yeah, good those job, reproduction. Troy, on those. That really sets the tone. It still has the original heater hoses, assembly line heater hoses. Radiator hoses, plug wires. Unbelievable. Look at it on the, on the firewall. Yeah, as they were cleaning up, they, they made, made all the uh, numbers on the firewall. There's markings on the rear end. They did the pencil latch of all the casting codes on the block. Just to verify all that everything was correct. Amazing. Let's fire it up, shall we? We'll let it idle, we'll give it a rev. Troy, one other thing too, when we're on, just uh, step on the brakes when I'm back there and I just want to show them the tail line, like the tail lines.
a smile to her face. <laughs> that, makes, that makes us seven-year-olds again. That is great. Let's shut the uh, door. We'll have you guys stand right next to it. Let me take one more look at the Survivor Hemi. I just love doing these stories. This is the kind of stuff that's just so much fun. Guys, what a treat. If people like what they see, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and you can see all the videos. Rick, Troy, fantastic car. What a treat. Thanks for being on my car store. Thank, Thank you. you.